Let me tell you about the metric mass and weight. Mass is how much matter is in an object. And we measure mass by weighing. But, ang weight at saka mass ay hindi magkaparehas. Ngayon, bago natin alamin pa yung uh, pinagkaiba nila, uh, meron tayong mga common measurements na gagamitin para sa topic natin for today. So, we have the grams, the kilograms, and the tons. Ang grams ay yung uh, pinakamaliit sa kanilang lahat at yung tons naman yung pinakamalaki, pinakamalaking measurement sa kanilang lahat. Now, let's take a few minutes and explore how heavy each of these are. For example, I have here a paper clip. A paper clip weighs about 1 gram. Now, I want you to hold one small paper clip in your hand and um, I have a question. Does that weigh a lot? Of course not. Magaan lang yan, no? A gram is very light measurement. That is why you often see things measured in hundreds of grams. Grams are often written as G for short. A loaf of bread weighs about 700 G or 700 grams. Once we have 1,000 grams, we have 1 kilogram. For example, a dictionary has a mass of about 1 kilogram. Another example is a gold. This gold bar also has a mass of 1 kilogram. Kilograms are great for measuring things that can be lifted by people. And kilograms are often written as kg, that is a k for a kilo, g for a gram. So, 10 kg means 10 kilograms. According to this one, scales measures our weight using kilograms. Ang average ng adult ay nag weighs about 70 kilogram. Now, let me ask you a question. How much do you weigh? But when it comes to things that are very heavy, we need to use the ton. Ano ba yung ton? Sabi dito, kapag ka meron kang isang ton, yan daw ay equivalent sa 1,000 kilogram. So, napakalaki kilogram. Tons are also called metric tons. Itong metric tons na to ay nagme-measure ng mga bagay na sobra-sobrang bigat. Things like cars, trucks, and large cargo boxes, and many more. Tons are often written as T for short. So, pag sinabi nating 5T, yan ay 5 tons. Final thoughts about measuring weight. So, 1 kilogram, yan daw ay 1,000 grams. At yung isang ton naman, meron tayong 1,000 kilograms. In this case, we have, we have used the word weight only because that is what people commonly say. But we really should say mass instead. For more examples about milligram, so I have here 1,000 of a gram, about the mass of a small grain of sand, about the mass of uh, a grain of salt. So, these are the exam some of the examples of milligram. So, maliliit talaga. A gram is about a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar, a paper clip, a pen cap, and a thumb tax. At marami pang iba. <laughs> Ngayon, ang mga example naman ng ton ay about, ang kilogram pala, no? So, meron tayong uh, a bottled water, approximately 7 apples, or itong slice ng uh, bread. Now, a ton is about the weight of a small car. Continue in this mission, you will be able to convert mass measurements from one unit to another and solve problems involving mass. And for our extension, weight is a measure of Earth gravitational pull, mass is a measure of the amount of matter that objects are made of. Para mas madali nating maunawaan at maintindihan, ito yung table na gagamitin natin para sa metric units of weight. So we have the word kilogram, kg in symbol, and the meaning is 1,000 grams, hectogram, hg, 
100 grams, decagram, DAG, 10 grams, gram, G, 1 gram, decigram, DG, 0.1 grams, centigram, CG, 0.1 or 0.01 gram, and milligram, MG, 0.001 gram. And these rules are used to change from one metric unit to another. So yung una dyan, kapag nag-multiply tayo, kapag ka ang measurement natin, kapag kinonvert, papunta na sa right, mag-multiply lang tayo ng 10. Kapag ka papunta naman sa left, magdi-divide tayo ng 10 para mas madali nating matandaan. In our first example, we need to have an estimation about this given measurement. Una, meron tayong the weight of newborn infant. So, tatlo yung pinagpipilian dyan. 30, 3, and 300 kilogram. Para sa newborn infant, yes, very good. That is 3 kilogram. Okay? So, estimated lang yan. Pangalawa, piece of paper. Alin kaya sa tatlo? 0 0.5, 0 0.5G, or 5KG. A piece of a paper. Very good. That is 0 0.5 gram. So, hindi yan kilogram. And for our example number 2, we will convert the following. First of all, we have the given here, 0 0.3 gram equals to what milligram? Okay, may tinatin itong mga symbol na to. So, nasan ba dito yung gram? Okay, I believe nasa gitna siya. Yan, ito. So, bilang tayo ng hanggang saan? Papuntang MG. 1, 2, 3. Tatlong beses tayo yung nag-move papuntang M MG. So, our solution here, uh, sulat natin yung given na 0 0.3 gram. That is equal to 0 0.3. Dahil tatlong beses tayo nag-move, ganun din yung gagawin natin dito. Ngayon, madadagdagan ng 0. At, ang 0 0.3 gram ay 300 milligram. Ang equivalent niya. So, therefore, our answer here ay 300 milligram. Now, for our next given, we have 125 centigram ay equal daw sa anong decagram. So, meron tayong solution here. Ang gawin natin dyan, isulat natin ng 125 centigram. At, tignan natin kung nasa anong centigram dito. Bilang tayo papunta sa left. 1, 1, 2, 3. Hanggang mapunta tayo sa decagram. So, tatlong bes tayo nag-move. Meron tayong 1, 2, 5. Nandito yung decimal point. Bilang tayo 1, 2, 3 papunta sa left. At ang decimal point ay mapupunta sa unahan. Ngayon, ang sagot natin dyan ay 0 0.125 decagram. So, ibig sabihin ang 125 na centigram ay equivalent sa 0 0.125 decagram. And that will be our final answer. Ngayon, pag-aralan naman natin ng mga customary units of capacity. Ito yung mga, uh, kumbaga, may value na, no? So, una, meron tayong 1 pound. Equivalent yan sa 16 ounces. Uh, 1 US short ton, that is 2,000 pounds. Yung what metrics, 1 metric ton naman, may 2,200 pounds yan. Ngayon, para naman sa mass and weight to metric, we have symbols. When you know, multiply by to find symbol. Ito yung parang proseso natin. So, 1 ounces... In symbol, ayan. Uh, pwede nyo i-multiply by 28 para ma-convert nyo sa grams. Yung, uh, yung pound naman, pwede nyo i-multiply sa 0.45 para ma-convert nyo naman sa kilograms. 1 ton naman sa US, uh, US standard. So, multiply nyo 0.9 para makuha nyo yung isang ton ng metric. At meron naman tayong mass from metric. So, we have uh, gram. Pag multiply mo sa 0.035, makukuha mo ngayon yung ounces. Yung kilogram naman, pag multiply sa 2.2, meron tayong pounds. Kapag yung tons ng metric, pag multiply mo sa 1.1, you will get tons na US standard. Okay, so ito yung makilangan nating matandaan para makatulong sa pag-convert. And dito, i-apply natin yung nakita nating table kanina. So, tignan natin. Una, meron tayong 1 to 8 ounces. Ano daw ang conversion niya pagdating sa pound? So, we have the solution here. Hanapin natin sa tatlo. I think nandito siya, no? Sa customary units of mass. So, highlight mo na natin kung nasaan yan. 
So, we have 1 pound equal daw yan sa 16 ounces. Ngayon, when we write 1 to 8 ounces here, ang gagawin natin dyan, multiply natin saan? Okay, multiply natin sa 1 pound over 16 ounces. So, to basically uh, eliminate the ounces. Kasi kailangan natin, kailangan matira dyan yung pound. So, eliminate natin ang ounces na unit. So, 128 times 1, that is 128 over 16 pound. Okay, so 128 divided by 16, that will leave us 8 pound only. So, ibig sabihin ng 128 ounces, ang equivalent ay 8 pound only. At para naman sa second example natin, we have 25.5 ounces equals to what gram? So, we have we have our solution here. Uh, tignan natin yan dito. Ito yan, no? Highlight muna natin. So, we have 25.5 let us write the given ounces times 28, no? Para makuha natin yung gram na value niya. So, meron tayong 7, 714 grams. Okay, sulat natin, 714 grams dito. 25.5 ounces, that is equivalent to 714 grams. And that concludes our lesson for today.